All right, now for our golden awards. For PE, we have Kindergarten, Miss Morris. Great job, Kindergarten. For Music, Fourth Grade, Miss Rallette. Perfect. For Art, First Grade, Miss Swilly. Great job. For Computer, Third Grade, Miss Ware. Excellent work, Third Grade. For the Library Award, our Golden Book goes to Miss Schisler for outstanding manners, listening, and effort. Outstanding job, first grade. Our golden tray for outstanding cafeteria behavior goes to kindergarten class, Miss Niece. Wonderful. Our golden broom for being neat and tidy, picking up after themselves, kindergarten class, Miss Miley. And our golden heart for showing great character and being a great friend, Miss Austin's class. Great job, boys and girls. I'm super proud of you. Hey, Northside, it's Miss Yates. I'm going to answer 10 questions from Miss Prouse's class about me riding horses. Their first one was, how did you learn how to ride your horse? And how did you become interested in riding. Okay, so my dad is the one that got me interested in riding horses. Um, he was a police officer in Little Rock and he patrolled the streets on horseback for a long time when I was little. We've had horses my entire life, um, but I did not start competing until I was 14 years old. Um, I never took horse riding lessons. My dad taught me everything that I know and it was something that we just learned how to do together and we figured it out with lots of time and lots of practice and lots of dedication. Question number two, what are your horse's names? Are they male or female and how old are they? So my horse's names are Armor, Jetta, and Rocket. Armor and Rocket are males, which are called geldings and Jetta is a female, which is called a mare. Armor is 19, Jetta is 21, and Rocket is five. A horse's average lifespan is between 25 and 30 years old. Question number three, what do you feed your horses and how much do they eat? Great question. We feed our horses horse feed called Big V. There's lots of different brands out there but they also eat grass and hay during the winter time. Um, grass during the summer and then of course, when the grass dies, we feed them hay in the winter. They eat about a gallon bucket worth of feed per day along with either their hat, grass or hay. So they eat quite a bit. Question number four, how much do your horses weigh? My horses weigh between 1,000 and 1,300 pounds. Question number five. How fast can your horses run? I love answering this question. If you think about riding in a car, um, my horses at full speed can run around 40 miles per hour. So next time you're in the car, maybe you could roll down the window and if you're going around 40 miles per hour, you kind of see and feel how fast that would be on a horse. So faster than you might think. Question number six, how do you get on your horse? So to get on my horse, I put my left foot in something called the stirrup, which hangs down off the saddle. So I put my left foot in the stirrup, the left stirrup. I grab the horse's mane with my left hand. It doesn't hurt them like it would if someone pulled my hair. Um, they don't feel it. And then I swing my right leg around the saddle and put it into the other stirrup. And that's how I get in the saddle and on top of the horse. Question number seven. How do you turn your horse left and right how do you make it go faster? So basically, how do I get them to do what I want them to do? So to turn my horse left and right, there are different things you can do. I use my hands on the reins and I use my feet. 
different horses respond differently. Some react and mind better with feet cues. Some handle better when you use more hand, more force um, and strength on the reins. So sometimes you can just put pressure on their neck. If you want them to go left, I would have my hands on the reins. If I want them to go left, then I'm just going to push, push, put some pressure on their neck to the left. Sometimes you have to do something called direct reining them, where you pull the reins to your hip. So if I want them to go left and this doesn't, um, they don't respond well to that, then I can pull my reins to my hips. Um, sometimes you have to put use your feet to push them in a certain direction. And to make them go faster, I kick with my feet um, in something called their flanks. And I use a smooching noise with my mouth, like tsk, tsk, tsk. And that normally works for just about all horses, especially if they're running horses. Question number eight. How do you train your horses? Well, every horse has a different job. And so I do several things to train my horse. It takes a lot of patience, time, dedication, perseverance, and making mistakes and trying again. Um, just like with things that you guys do at school or in sports, it's the same thing. Um, I have to keep them in shape. And just like we practice in school or with a musical instrument or in sports, Horses need the same thing to improve. So I just spend a lot of time doing the same things over and over again until they have them have it completely mastered. Question number nine. How do you keep your horse calm and in control? Oh, how do you keep your horse calm and control it when you're competing? Well, this takes a lot of bonding with your horse and a lot of just comfortability and confidence and knowledge in what you're doing. So to keep my horses calm when I'm competing, I try to keep my heart rate down and my body relaxed because the horse can feel any tension or nervousness that I have, they can feel it. And so when I'm nervous and anxious and I'm worked up, they get worked up. Um, I warm them up before I run, just like you would warm up before a game. Um, and then I let them stand and relax for a few minutes before they actually go out and perform. Um, I also pet their neck, rub their on their neck, and I talk to them. And it just, just kind of like a human, just try to keep them calm and calm them down in soothing ways. All right, we've made it to question 10. Question 10. Have you ever fallen off your horses? Well... This will be a whole nother video for me to tell you all the times that I've fallen off and what has happened. Luckily, fortunately, I've only fallen off probably five or so times in my life and I've never had any serious crashes, but they are animals and it can happen at any time. So when you're compassion, when you're passionate and committed to something, you stick with it. So when I fall off, I have promised myself that I will get right back on if I'm able and try to learn from my mistakes. I don't let one bad time ruin what I work for or what I've worked for. So I know that I, it is very possible that I could fall off um, for many different reasons, but um, it's worth the risk and um, these animals are absolutely amazing and so intelligent. And if you have any more questions, then hopefully we can chat or I can make another video for you guys. And I hope you enjoy seeing some of my runs with my horses. Thanks for listening, guys.
each and every one of you. I'm thankful for our staff. I'm thankful for our whole Northside family. So as we go into Thanksgiving break, I just want you to know that Northside loves you, Miss Beavert loves you, and I am extremely, extremely blessed to be here with you guys every single day. I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving break, and remember, Northside loves you. <laughs> 